another one from Belgium. Tongerlo Brun, or Brun, Brun, I would say. Very much like the Scottish brown, Brun. Tongerlo is a, an Abbey Ale, I think. The, uh, yeah, it's from a Belgian Abbey beer, Tongerlo. So, and that is from Brewery Hacht Brasserie. It's 6.5% and it's a, a Dubel or double. From Beer 52, the initial sweet aroma of vanilla gives way to rich hoppy notes, finishing with the delicate bitterness of dark chocolate. Just like wine, Tongerlo's flavours will continue to evolve in the bottle and become even more rounded over time. So try a bottle now and save some for later to discover your perfect bottle of Tongerlo. Well, I've only got the one bottle. So now what well, I'm not going to get a wee shake to start with. I'll pour it and then get a swirl. And then let's see how she pours. Oh, that looks gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that. wee bit, because I think it's finished off in the bottle, is it? Bottle conditioned, yeah. Let's see, a wee bit. Uh... Waste not, want not. I'll just ring the bottle out. Ah. Gorgeous. Look at that colour. Oh, it's a deep a ruby red. Oh, it's like it's like a, a almost a cherry red. Let's see. Oh yeah, the bottom there. If you get it, oh that's like a like a really deep ruby red. It's absolutely beautiful. Head is it's opaque. Head, finger off. A tan, light brown. Let's have a wee. I'm not getting much <laughs> at all. <laughs> I thought I would have got a big hitty bolt or something there. I'm not getting much at all. Maybe it's the foam that's stopping it. Let's have a wee taste. Oh yeah, that is an unusual taste. Malt, malty, but no overpowering. Not like the one I had, Cruz Campo. <laughs> was it the Cruz Campo? It was <laughs> very malty. That was yesterday. So, yeah, ideal pouring temperature, 10C. That's about that, actually. Right, let's have a wee, a wee taste of this. Let's have a look at the colour first. Well, it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's probably a, a 15 to a 20. I don't know if the camera's picking those colours up, excuse me. But it's a 15 to a 20, I think. It's uh, the clarity, it's opaque. You cannot see a thing. Colour of foam and head retention. Good. It's more than 60 seconds. The texture, it's, it's like a, there's some fine bubbles at the sides there. But in the centre, it's like it's like a mousse-like. It's absolutely beautiful. The carbonation, there's none that I can see. The aroma... Yeah, I'm getting a bit more there. It's the maltiness I can smell mostly. But I'm getting a bit like uh, rich fruits as well. 
yeah, like uh, like raisins. Well, I'm not supposed to drink it at this point. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting fruity. Uh, the malt. Well, it's like. Uh, is there any? No, I'm just going to say, I was looking for like coffee or chocolate or roasty or. I'm not getting any of that at all. I thought we were being so dark, maybe a wee bit pruney. The esters. Well, raisin, I was getting there. Whether that's the ester or not, I don't know. The alcohol flavour. Yeah, you can you can tell it's mild, mild to noticeable. I'm going to say noticeable actually. The hop flavour. I'm getting the fruity. There's something else here. I don't know. What does it say in the notes? Yeah. I'm not getting the dark chocolate at all. Yeah, I'm not getting any. Let's have a look to see what it says in the... the B booklet. Ferment from Beer 52. Tongerlo Brun. Brewery Hacht. Says here enjoy 8%. On the website it says enjoy 10%. Yeah, it's a uh, fruit for. Yeah, I'm getting fruit. Smooth, that's yeah, it's smooth. Actually, a wee bit of carbonation on the tongue there, I know. Yeah, the floral too hoppy, too malty one. Yeah, I was getting big malt hits with that. Bitter too sweet one. I think my palate's different to everybody else. The hot bitterness is fairly moderate. The malt. Oh, I'm getting the pruny. I'm not getting any chocolate or coffee at all. I'm getting the rich fruit. Maybe because I just had a cup of proper coffee not that long ago. So maybe that's affected my... That was about an hour ago when I had coffee. I'm not getting any chocolate or coffee. Astringency is low. The body is actually quite drying. It's like palate carbonation is partially sparkling. It's a long finish. Balance of drinkability, desirable, style, appropriate, for a, a Belgian Abbey beer. I've got it in my La Trappe chalice. So, all in all, it's a nice beer. It's quite strong, it's 6.5%. The... That would go very nice with food, with something to eat. It's not, it's not even, a, it's not a session beer. It's mainly the fruity that I'm getting, the, like raisins. But it's, it's more complex than that. There's other smells there, but I don't know how to describe them.
you know there's a quite a meaty <laughs> taste to that. <laughs> like liver. <laughs> Maybe it's off. No, it's not. It's not. It's very nice though. I shall give that 7.8. Pluck a number out there. Did I do the colour test? I did do that. Yeah. This is me sober. Anyway, try it. I think you might like it. Cheers, my dears. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hopefully. Ta-ta for now.